Thinking of something that has never been thought of or thought of by anybody else. That may not make sense, but it's very knowledgeable if you can think about it. What I'm trying to do is project an image into your mind that nobody else has thought of. And it's not a thought, it's a uh, th type of thinking. Who was the first person who created Halo, the video game? Who was the first person who created the Elite in the video game? Who was the first person to create, uh, in Borderlands 2, the Vault? Or the Vault Hunters? Or the, the Vault Warrior, which is the end of Borderlands 2? And it may not make sense, you may not understand it, but this is what makes video games very popular. Very good ones, very popular. What? No. To create something that nobody else has thought of, as well as not entered their brain, plane of thinking, I guess you can say. Now, I know this is going to be a very confusing subject for a lot of people, so I encourage you to, if you, if you just don't have the brain capacity, click off the video. But think about this, if you do have the brain capacity right now, this is a very interesting topic, and this is something I try to tell with my friends all the time. Now, when I talk about this, I say things like using... Thinking of something that's never, never been thought of. Try to think of a thing that you don't know what it is. But by technicality, to think of something that has never been already thought of is impossible. Now, I'll try to give you the best example that most of everybody would understand. Okay, the cell phone. Who, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's actually a bad example. Let me give you a better one. Um, the mouse. There it is. Yeah, uh, the mouse on your computer. Now, we understand that computer was made for technological regions and advancements, but what's to say we didn't have a computer that was purely run off of just using a keypad? No touchpad, no mouse, no trackball, none of that stuff. Somebody thought, well, we need a pointer in the machine, so we can't just use the arrows we already provide on the keyboard. But if you think about it, Nobody else but the person who invented the mouse or the person who conceived the thought of the mouse and somebody else made had thought of it beforehand. And this is something I try to imply to video games. It's very confusing, but I hope you do actually try this and think about this. And the reason I'm doing this mini-series, and that's all it is, is because I've been a inventor I guess you can say in so many words and I'm very chill when I'm saying this stuff because it's one of those commentaries where I feel this is something I like to do and I can really get involved with it and connect with it but when you think about creating a video game you have to think of things that are not already thought of you no know, that's not trending it's not the same concept being reused it's a different engine that you play on meaning the controls are different the way the game feels you have to think of new characters and artwork and designs in fact artwork is a great example of this topic to think of an art painting somebody has thought up this image in their head that says oh yeah this is the art painting that i'm gonna do and they're trying to do everything they can to project what's in their head onto a piece of paper or on a canvas or whatever and this is what makes a lot of video games great and now I'm this is my intro to the mini series because I, I feel that it's very fun it's very an innovative way of thinking that it'll wake you up as well as it'll frighten you the amount of time you spend thinking about things you never thought of for example where do all the birds go at summertime well they're at your area but it's warm now, why do they go to the south when it's cold? Well, obviously, they're migrating. Uh, they're migrating south, I'm sorry, to go to a warmer climate because they like to fall in a warmer path. But in the birds' minds, how did they know to just go down there? You know, somebody, some, like, obviously, the species of the bird had to, you know, acknowledge, hey, it's getting a little cold here. Let's go to somewhere it's warmer. But why did they go south? Why did they go back north? How did they know these things? And, you know, that re it can relate to a many wide variety of things. So, try it out, and I'll give you an example of something that you can try out. Think of a technological product that has not been used that you would use, but it can't be something else that somebody else has used. For example, the pager. That's mainly, you. it's a dead concept of the pager now. People use cell phones nowadays, but the pager. 
People use that for quick communications and beeping, and the main primary use would probably be in a hospital nowadays. It's just a beep, beep, beep. Oh, I got to go take care of a surgery that I have now. You know, alerts and stuff like that. Take it and think of something that you think people would use as well as have a ability to relate to. But think of the product and make sure it does not relate to anything and write it in the comments below, guys. Because this is one of those really cool things that you'll spend hours thinking about. And if you're not an intellectual person, you'll probably just skip over this. And it's not a it's not a trick to get you to listen to it. It's just that people who have short attention spans and people who have long attention spans have this very diversifying thing right there where it says, this minute is six minutes long right now. They will only listen to two probably if they're a short-term uh, person. But if they're very long-term and they want to think... They'll probably go for the whole six minutes, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun topic, guys. I do hope you try it out, but uh, leave a comment of what you can think of that you think that nobody else has thought of. And if you wanted to keep that idea a secret, then don't write a comment. Just say something like, "I thought of a great idea, but I don't want to share it because, well, what if ten years down the line you want to become an engineer and you engineer this product? Obviously, you don't want somebody else stealing it." So, try it out guys, leave a comment, and I'll, I'll start talking about this video game idea I had for a while ago. I brought it up in a previous series, but uh, I'll start refreshing it into people's minds.